Okay, now let's take a look at how we can go about once we have turned our pictures, our color pictures into black and white pictures, or if you have just a black and white picture, how we go about working with making it more dramatic. And what we can do is we can work with the dodge and the burn tools. We're going to focus in in this video on the dodge and the burn tools. Now, the dodge and the burn tools are the terminology comes from come from early photography and actually the terms are terms that are used in the darkroom when you develop pictures in the darkroom. So it makes sense that these would be the terms that would make their way into Photoshop. So where are these tools? We come on into our tool panel and they're right here. So we have the dodge and the burn. Now when we work with the burn tool, we will be um, darkening pixels. When we work with the dodge tool, we will be lightening pixels. So I have this image right here. Uh, it's a sculpture that was in a cemetery in um, San Diego, and this is St. Francis. So what I want to do is I'm going to go on in and I want to make this picture a little bit more dramatic. So how can I go about doing that? Well, first thing is if you want to edit the image, you need the background. The layer cannot be locked. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually name this. I just double click this. I'm going to say this is the original image. I'm going to hit OK. And what I want to do is I want to duplicate this layer and I want to lock it. So I'm going to lock it. I just hit that to lock it. I want to duplicate this layer and then I want the top layer to be the one that I'm editing. So I'm going to come on up, layer, duplicate layer, and I'm going to say, call this one edited image. So now, why do I want to do this? Well, because I want to unlock this one. Because what I can do is I can turn this off and say, oh, okay, this is what it looks like underneath. All right, so let's take a look. Maybe I want to start by coming in, making this dramatic. There's this light source over here. So I'm going to come on in and make the light kind of come and show this side of him, maybe make this side a little bit darker. All right, so let me start with, if I want to light in certain areas, I'm going to start with the dodge tool. And I can see once I hit the dodge tool uh, that this window up in here changes. And I have these options. First of all, I set my pixel size. And this is a way too big of pixels. So I'm going to lower my pixel size. I'm going to go down even a little bit more. I'm going to put it at 100. I think 100 is going to be perfect. 100 pixels. Dun, 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 dun. OK, perfect. Now, when you're editing photos, I would recommend put the hardness at 0, OK? Because if not, it will have a hard edge. Sometimes you're going to want to keep it at a hard edge. But for this, for this editing of black and white and dodging and burning, I don't want where I dodged and burned to be so obvious. So I want to say, OK, I want to lighten these pixels in here. And if I look at these pixels, I would say that these pixels are mid-tones. So I'm going to come on in, and I'm going to lighten them. OK, now maybe I want to get even more exact. I want to come on in a little bit more, and I'm going to lower this. I'm going to lower it to half of this. I'm going to lower it to 50. And I want to say, OK, I want to, I want to even lighten these highlights so I can come. All right, so that's kind of a highlight right in there, too. I'm going to go a little bit lower. Okay, maybe I want to come in around his head. And if I look, those would probably be more like mid-tones. And I want to zoom it on in just a little bit. Come back to this tool. Say, OK, I want to lighten these pixels in here. Now, as I'm doing this, too, I can see, OK, not all these pixels are highlights, but um, all right, so let's take a look at the before and the after. Here's the edited image. There it was before. So it's actually kind of starting to make it a little bit more dramatic here. Let's keep working on this guy. Okay, so let's come on in. Let's start darkening this side. So again, our dodge lightens our burn darkens. I'm coming on into my burn tool, and I'm going to lower this. Again, I'm going to come, I think 100 works well for this. All right, so we can come on in, and we want to burn. And again, let's start with our midtones, so we can say overall. All 
Okay, let's actually darken some of our shadows. Now again, I want to go much smaller for this. 50, I'm going to come on in. And that's even, I'm going to go to 30. So I can come on in, I can say. You know, that's even, that, that might even be too dark. I'm going to redo it. Edit, redo burn tool. Mm, don't like it. Okay, so that's the thing. Edit, undo is always a good. So I want to actually say darken midtones. I want to stick with the midtones because it just got a little bit too dark. And I'm going to come on in to about 10. And I want to darken just like I did before. And, you know, I could come in and darken in here a little bit. I could darken down in here. I'm going to have it in midtone, so it's not going to be as dramatic. Let's turn this on and off so I can see what's happening here. Let's lighten this up a little bit more. Let's put a little bit more light on his face just for to more, a little bit more drama. I think the best way to work with this too is just little by little, adding, taking away little by little. Uh, we can come on in. And I want to lighten midtone so I can come on in. Again, continuing to look. So we don't want to overdo it, and I'm, I'm getting to the point where I may end up overdoing it. So here we can see, here are some of our changes. We can play around. Uh, maybe I'll put a little highlight on his nose. And I think we'll leave it with that. So there is our first image. Let's come on in. Let's take a look at going in. And actually, I want to take a look at it. Now if I want to come in and edit this. Now, once you have this layer like this, actually, the only thing is um, you can't really come on in and edit it. So when you come on in with the dodge right now, this is a much higher pixel. Pixel. This is way more pixels than the one before it. Okay. So let's take a look. How would I dodge and burn on this one? Because so I'm going to show you. If I come on up to the black and white image and I up this and I'm going to need much more pixels because this is a much more, this image has more pixels than the other one. All right, so I was to click. Right now I have the dodge tool to lighten. So say I came on in here and I started to want to lighten this image. Okay, see not much is really happening here. Um, so really your best bet I always find is to flatten the layer. All right, now what else you could do though is if you unlock the bottom color image, you can come on in and go under and just do all of the changes on directly on that color layer. All right, so let me let me let me explain this one more time. What I had to do is on the color picture, I need to make sure that I have the color picture selected. Um, and I want to lighten up this background to make him stand out a little bit more. Now I need to make sure that I am selected on the image. The image is unlocked. And now I can come on in. I have my uh, dodge tool. I have midtones. I want to lighten up this background. I'm going to go a little bit bigger, about almost 250. That's fine. 247, 258, no problem. So I can come on in and I can see I can start coming in and lightening this up. But again, I need to be selected on... Um, the, on 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 the picture now just like we did St. Francis we made one side a little bit lighter and we'll make this side let's make this side a little bit darker so let's come on in let's get the burn tool I need to up my pixels up the more okay you can always tell when you have I would set like 250 last time 268 no problem so I'm going to come on in and darken this side and again, in Photoshop, you know, zoom in, zoom it on in, and you'll see what you what you've done. Okay. So now, what I want to do, just you know, not I don't want to overdo it. I think that's the the balance here. 
I'm gonna maybe make this side just a tad bit lighter, this side a tad bit darker. So what would I do? Again, I need to be on this image right here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to get this tool right here. I want the dodge tool to lighten it. I'll keep it at mid-tones. Uh, and I'm gonna put this down to, whoopsie, let's make this 150. 158 is fine. So I'm gonna come on in. This side is pretty light actually, so we have that. And then we're gonna come on over to this side and we are going to change it to burn. Let's keep it at mid-tones too. Let's say. Make it a little bit more dramatic. Okay. Maybe we'll even come on in here and um, lighten up some of these highlights on the eyes. Let's get in real close to do that. All right, so um, I'm going to come on in and I want to lighten this and I'm gonna say lighten highlights. I need to definitely lower this because I can see it's really, really, it's pretty big. I'm gonna go down to, let's see what 58 looks like. So I'm just came and I just clicked. A little bit more dramatics, more subtle sun. And again, I think the best thing working in Photoshop is to make those subtle changes. So again, same thing. When I'm this close, I can see that it really is changing. And I'm highlight, I'm I'm lightening that. If I even want to come on in and lighten some of the highlights, maybe I even want to you know, lighten up those little teeth. Okay, that I can see. Let me let me zoom in. See, sometimes you don't want it to look, that looks more like a mark, not working. Now, if you ever go too far, the thing with Photoshop, you want to do edit, undo, you can only go back so far. So you want to get familiar with the history. The history is a great window, I would definitely say, you know, put your history right in there. Okay, opening up my history so I can go back and say, okay, there's the dodge. I want to get rid of that. So your history tool is going to save, I believe it's like 20, your 25 last moves that you did. Uh, it's 25 or 50. You can set it to be higher now. The reason why that is, Photoshop is a very memory intensive program, whereas in Illustrator, you can go edit, undo, edit, undo, and go back pretty much to the beginning of your project. Photoshop does not do that because, again, it uh, takes up much more memory to run. Photoshop files tend to be much larger, um, and it would just, your system would just run really slow. So your history is a great place to open up if you need to go back. So there we have it. If I wanted to come on in and edit this one too, I would do this in the same way that I did um, this image of St. Francis. So there we have it, the dodge and the burn tools in Photoshop CS6.